Austru, Austru, dragă trăguță, Mi-ai cerut ciora cu panglicuță, Și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea la tale, Să-ți cumpere neica și sandale. The story was that I might have told you this. Yeah, Michael, can you met someone here yeah, in California? Yeah. One day I get a phone call from a member of my temple in temple Fullerton, Beth yes. Bethikwa, telling me, Rabbi, I went to Beverly Hills to buy a handbag. And the handbag uh, studio on Beverly Drive uh, was its owned or managed by a guy called Leopold Page and his P -A -G -E? wife P-A-G-E Leopold Page Page and well his name was Pfefferberg Pfefferberg with F or P-H uh, P-F or oh, P-F-E-R-B-U-R-G Pfefferberg yeah. right right but in America he changed his name to Page and his lovely wife Mila Mila M-I-L-A -L -A, yeah uh, on the shop right so my friend Sherry Chapman from Fullerton goes to Beverly Hills shopping. She goes to that shop because her mother who lives there told her that uh, this this guy is, uh, has got good merchandise and good prices and all that and all that. And she was choosing a, a purse, a handbag. So. The guy is asking her where are you from. Uh, I said, "Well, I'm from Los Angeles, but now I live in Orange County." And uh, oh, are you Jewish? Yes, I'm Jewish. And he said, "Well, I have a story to tell you." And he tells that innocent woman, who knows really nothing about uh, the, the the Holocaust, even though her mother and father are survivors, she was not really taught. Uh, by her parents about the Shoah, the Holocaust. And he tells her the whole story and confuses her immensely because she is not trained to be an historian or to understand what the guy is telling her. And she's a very intelligent woman, by the way, Sherry. And sure enough, she comes to me, she says, Rabbi, I want you to go to Los Angeles next time you're there and visit that gentleman, Leopold Page. At the store. At the store, and find out what he's talking about. I don't understand what he's trying to say. So I immediately went on my next trip to Los Angeles. I Which is about 30, 40 miles from uh, Fullerton. Yeah, it's quite yeah, a distance here. Yeah, no, no. And, uh, and I I went to Mr. Page, I said, look, I'm so-and-so, the rabbi from Oran Northern Orange County, Fullerton. Uh, Fullerton, and my friend Sherry Chapman, who bought a purse from you, told me a story that you have to tell, oh, he says, have you got time, I'll take you for a cup of coffee or whatever it was, and we'll sit. That so was before he met the writer? Oh, way before, and he took... About what year did this happen? Uh, this is 1986. Okay. He took, he left his wife in charge of the store. He took me to the local uh, coffee shop and he told me the whole story. And I was fascinated. Basically the story that's in the book. The story of Schindler, mm -hmm. Oscar Schindler, how etc. etc. etc the miracle of saving 12. He was obviously one of the uh, he children. Was. He was also a big shot of the Schindler group. Because really? He was like uh, the person maneuvering. Uh, kind of an assistant to him yes, and exactly. helping him with the details. Exactly. Who's who and, the, right. and, and he's in the movie, I presume, portrayed by a particular artist. Uh, I'm sorry? Uh, your friend uh, Leopold W in the movie, oh, yes, movie yes. he's he a technical a, director. He was a technical yeah, director, technical and director. There, obviously there was an actor that played him in the movie. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I don't know who the character was. Could we could we allow the audience to go to the next story because we have a time limit on this uh, video clip and tell the okay. audience how you're going to continue perhaps the details I'm, of this story. I'm going to tell you about 
the righteous Gentile that was supposed to save my own life in Burgas, Bulgaria on March 9th, 1943. And perhaps just before that we will conclude with the story of Leopold and his story and how... Yes, uh, I'll finish the story yes. and then go into my own Excellent. Uh, Gentile, uh, uh, righteous Gentile, Marika. Marika. Marika Kolarova. Kolarova. Sounds like uh, she was a very pretty young lady. No. No. No, she didn't. She was, she was a simple woman with a great big heart. So we'll talk and about Marika Kolarova and yeah. also we'll finish the story, story of about Oscar. Oscar Schindler and all that. So thank you, Rabbi. My pleasure. Thank you, David. Here we are. We'll see you at the next story. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Shalom. Şay mai vrem, şay mai vrem drăguță ană, ca să te îmbrac mai până hramă. Să-ți cumpăr, să-ți cumpăr cercei mai ană, dar eu n-am de unde mai coadară. Auzi, dragă fata, nechi dragă, aseară poli o tamiciană. Şac cum nu sparale, să-ți cumpăr sandale, Buzunarele sunt goale ta Mai apoi trecuță Încă o băncuță Și băui în colinituță ta